Hello, this is Chap Jack. We're going to be playing this game Moi Rai because I've heard that this has some phenomenal reviews on Steam. It has like 5,000 reviews. They're all great. And I'm really curious to see why, actually. So, okay, this is... Is it literally... Okay, it's all WASD. So we, do we go up and talk to people? Talk to Priest. My prayers go out to poor Julia. It's been a year since her husband passed away. She hasn't been seen all day. I imagine she is grieving. Do you mind visiting her at home? It, it's the house to the right as you leave town. Okay, so I'm guessing that it's going to be that house. Sometimes Daddy let us pat sheep on the head. They're so soft. Yeah, whatever. I know that there's two people that we just totally skipped there, but we're going to just break into a stranger's home because uh, we're just going to see what's, what's in here that we can take. Maybe we can break some pots. <laughs> Look in the bookshelf. There is a picture on the shelf of a wife, husband, and a young boy. I wonder where they are. Oh, and that's the same thing. Let's leave the cabin! Oh, why are they all creepily staring at us? Oh, this is kind of strange that they're all looking at us. Need to stay close to Mama, otherwise she'll worry that we'll run off. Why would she be worried that you would run off? Hi, Mother. Did you hear about the boy? Julia lost her son in the cave shortly after her husband died. Poor Julia, I would never let my boys out of my sight. This is, seems like a, such a sweet game. Let's enter the cabin. Oh, my uncle and, and dad were out chopping wood to keep us warm in the winter. They should be home soon. But they will never return, will they, little girl? Because they're going to... This just seems like a really creepy game. I'm, I'm sure that this is some sort of horror game based on how everyone's just being really, really creepy. Did we already go in here? I think that we're just supposed to leave town now. Let's leave! Let's leave this creepy, creepy, creepy cabin. Leave it! Let's go! So where does this take us? Sign? Don't know. But, oh. Read signpost. To the farm. Um, and I'm guessing that's... Why are they all watching us? That's really creeping me out. We're going to the farm. Let's go. Okay, we're supposed to follow the path, I guess? I guess so. Man, it's so I'm so not used to like having only... You can only walk in one direction at a time. Read the signpost. To the cave. There's a lumberjack. Okay, let's talk to the lumber... Lantern. Picked up lantern on the stump. Oh, that's great. What are we going to need that for? I don't know. My brother and I were chopping wood, and when we heard moans coming from the cave, my brother went in to investigate. He should have been back by now. I'm worried. Can you check on him? There's a lantern behind you on the stump. Yep, we got it already, buddy. We just, like, stole a lantern, lantern for no reason. Okay. Hey, you, come over here. I'm not controlling anything. Did my brother send you... Bless. I'm moan. The moans are coming from further down. I'd go in, but they're further. I don't know what that said. You should take this knife. Who knows who may, you may need it? How do we use the knife? We can't point and click. I'm scared to look to either side. We're gonna go right. This is really creepy. That there's like, there's no sounds or anything. I, I don't know. Oh, Jesus. Oh, something's gonna scare me, isn't it? This is gonna be fucking freaky. There's gonna be some demon. There's gonna be a demon. Oh, I'm gonna keep making noises in hopes that I can uh, limit my fear. Okay, there's some altar with a bunch of... Oh, this isn't creepy at all. This is not creepy at all. So there's a demon book. Look at the book. There's a book on top of the pedestal. It's labeled Farmers. There's a list of names inside. I'm you... Trim, trim, trimagus. I'm dead, right? <laughs> ah, how eerie. Um, look at the tools. There are some tools leaning against the wall. It looks like as though they've been used to mark carvings on the wall. I'm just really, really scared to look around right now. I'm really, really scared. Okay, nothing. So the rats, we're not allowed to look down even, eh? So that we can only just walk around. All right, let's see if there's the jump scares coming. Hopefully not. When the music stops, that's really, really freaking me out. That's really freaking me out. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna go back here. We're gonna take a right, I believe. And what's down the hall? What's down the creepy hallway? A demon? Nope, no demon. No demon. And there's left. We can go left. 
What's gonna be here? There's someone crying in here. Where is the crying person? Where is the crier? Where is the cry? Oh, fuck you, you bitch. A farmer approaches. Why do you have blood on your overalls? Why do you have a knife? I heard moans. What have you done? We're gonna say that. We're gonna say, what have you done? A woman was injured and wanted to end her life and asked for me to kill her. Let them pass. You're all good, buddy. <laughs> that was fucked up. Okay. That actually scared me, the fact that there was no jump scare, but like... Oh, who is moaning? Who is crying? Is it some girl? Is it some girl? I don't know. Oh, there's the woman. Erg, please help me. I'm in a lot of pain. I came here to end my life. My name is Julia, and I want to see and I want to see my child and husband in heaven. My husband was a miner in these caves. He spent days mining for gold, and then one day he found something. He found a golden nugget. I thought we could retire and we could be comfortable for the rest of our lives, but he didn't trust me. He buried the golden nugget in spite of me, and then he disappeared. Everyone in town heard about our good fortunes. They thought I was rich. I was ashamed that I couldn't tell them the truth. One day, my son wandered into the cave. He wanted to find his daddy. He wanted to make everything better, but he never came out of the cave. I went to look for him, but I couldn't find him. Now it's too late. Now I have nobody. Will you help me? Will you help me end my life? Yep, yep. Let's do it. And then we'll find your son after. Please end it quickly. Come here. Come here, girl. Stab, stab, stab. Stabby, stab, stab. Oh! Oh! Oh, I thought there, there was going to be some sort of jump scare. Okay, now we're going to walk out and we're going to pretend that every... Oh, and there's a bug that actually just scared the shit out of me. Not in the game. Uh, hopefully Mr. Stabby Stab doesn't... Uh... So wait, I thought Mr. Stabby Stab already stabbed her. Wait a second, I thought that he would have finished the job. Why... Why was she still alive? Oh, fuck! Oh, that scared me. Oh, oh, my God. Why is there blood on your overalls? Oh, he's going to kill me, isn't he? Because I... Uh, because your mother is on her period. <laughs> Why do you have a knife? Uh... Things got kinky. <laughs> I heard moans. What have you done? Did did you not listen to me? Things got kinky. <laughs> Let me see what will happen to you. And that is where the story shall end, at least for now. It is up to the next player of this game to choose your fate just as you chose for the previous player. Whoa! Okay. Enter your first name. Uh, fuck face. <laughs> so, something funny that I just thought of. I looked at someone else's video after recording this and I saw that the farmer that we ran into had a different answer. And so, <laughs> someone's gonna run it. Someone's gonna run in to my answers and be like, what the fuck is this game? <laughs> like, I answered, your mother's on her period. <laughs> and like, things got kinky. And like, didn't you listen to me before and stuff? Oh my god. Oh my god. That, this... <laughs> Because yeah, I actually looked it up. I looked at some other videos after recording this one. I was like, so did the farmer say different things? And like, yes, in some of the videos, the farmer said like, uh, what did you do in the tunnel or whatever, whatever the question was. And it was like, he said, I just want to finish this game. Or like, how do you finish this game? And my mind's going to be like, I had sex with your mother. <laughs> oh my God. That's actually, that's great. I really like that. Uh, <laughs> Oh god. Um but yeah, I'd like to thank you for watching. You're all very beautiful people. I'll see you guys next time. And by the way, let me know what the farmer in your game said actually. You know what? Yeah, let me know what the farmer in your game said. Leave it in the uh comment section below. But thank you. You're beautiful again. 
See you guys next time.